Welcome to another video. In this video, I will be going to show you how to wire up a DOL or direct online starter. So this video will going to be very interesting because at the end of this video, you will be able to wire up a DOL starter and also you will be able to make electrical drawing in AutoCAD. Let us start by inserting the images of required components that will be used in a DOL starter. For inserting an image in AutoCAD 2007, select insert and go to external references. Here on the top right corner, select attach image and select the desired image you want to place on the main screen. So in this fashion, I have placed all the required components. For example, this is a breaker. This is a three phase contactor an overload relay this is a motor which is rated for dual starter this is an on push button off push button and three leds for overload on and off these are the auxiliary contacts of a contactor and this is a fuse for control supply so i will start drawing the power wiring for the dual starter first I have already connected the incoming terminal of a breaker with three phase 400 volts power supply and since my control supply will be 220 volts AC so I will also need a neutral and a phase. So let us begin. I will select the thickness of 0.5 for the power wiring and start with red phase. Select the line and then I will connect the output power terminal of the breaker with the input power terminal of the contactor. So now connect the output power terminals of the breaker with the input power terminals of a contactor normally represented by 1L1, 3L2 and 5L3. So I will connect all three terminals one by one. There are many models of overload relays which can be directly connected with the contactor. Also there comes an electronic overload relay. The wiring of that overload relay is out of the scope of this video. I have selected the model which can directly connect to the output terminals of a contactor represented by 2T1, 4T2 and 6T3. Now I need to connect the output power terminal of overload relay directly with the three terminals of the motor. So the output power terminals of an overload relay are normally represented by 2T1, 4T2 and 6T3. Okay, this completes our power wiring of dual starter. So I will start the control wiring of dual starter according to this control diagram. Now first of all, I will connect a control fuse in order to protect the control circuit from overload or short circuit. So the other terminal of the fuse will be connected with the normally closed contact of an overload relay which is represented by 95 and 96. On the other terminal, now connect the OFF push button. So from the other side of the OFF push button, now connect one side of ON push button. Here you go. These two push buttons will be connected in series with each other. The other terminal of the ON push button will be connected to the one side of the coil of the contactor. The coil of the contactor is normally represented by A1 and A2. Okay, this completes over this circuit. Now comes to the normally open contact of the contactor. The common point of both push buttons 
will be connected with one side of the normally open contact of a contactor which is represented by 13 and 14 number. So the common point of the push buttons will be connected with normally open contact of a contactor. The other side of this contact will be connected with the coil of a contactor which is already connected with the on push button. So now make a jump just like this. Okay, this completes the phase wiring of a control circuit. Now I need to connect A2 terminal of the coil with the neutral. So for this and now I will connect a neutral with A2 terminal which is a coil of a contactor. So remember since now for an overload relay now to wire up an overload LED this will be connected across the normally open contact of an overload relay. Okay one end of the normally open contact of an overload relay will be connected with the main control supply and the other terminal of normally open contact will be connected with the overload LED. For on LED you will require normally open contact of a contactor and for off LED you will require normally closed contact. Again both the contacts will be connected to the main phase. Okay, One end of the normally open contact will be connected with the on LED. Similarly, the one end of the normally closed auxiliary contact will be connected with the off LED. There you go. Now the last step is to connect the neutral of all three LEDs. Okay guys, I hope you understand how to wire up a dual starter. I hope you like this video. For more interesting video, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.